We begin with the greatest Cinderella story in NCAA tournament history finally coming to an end. Oh, but it was so good. The Peacocks mm -hmm. of St. Peter's lost in Philadelphia last night. Now there are plans for a celebration and they're underway. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has details. Joins us live from the campus in Jersey City this morning with more. Elijah. Hey, good morning, Chris and Andrea. Well, without a doubt, the Peacocks certainly had a good run, didn't they? And despite their loss, many fans say they are still incredibly proud of the team's success. A standing ovation for a team fans say showed the most grit, heart, and toughness. Every Cinderella story does come to an end, um, but they, they've, like I said, they've made history. They've beat uh, Purdue. We beat Kentucky. We never thought we'd get this far. The St. Peter's University Peacocks historic run came to an end Sunday evening in Philadelphia. North Carolina beat St. Peter's with a 69-49 to win. Oh, well, we just told each other, you know, just stay together. What we did was amazing and, you know, this is a brotherhood. The words can't describe uh, what we did out there. Everybody got a chance to see our brand of basketball. They got a chance to see us play and, and what we all about. The crowd here tried its best to rally behind their team, cheering at every opportunity, regardless of the score. For the students, staff, alumni, and possibly future students, this was a run they'll never forget. I'm very proud of the effort from the, of the boys, the young men on the basketball team, and especially Coach Holloway. And we really would like him to return. We didn't win, but we fought hard, and, and, and the guys did the best that they could. And, and we're proud of that. It went a long way and it's okay. They will always win in our hearts. The last time St. Peter's got national attention was back in 1968 when the Peacocks knocked off Duke in the NIT quarterfinals. One of the players that night was Eugene O'Connell. 55 years later, his wife was here watching this bit of magic. A new generation of fans got to know a little bit more about them too. For a school that's been around for 150 years, there's been plenty to celebrate. It's almost impossible to put into words what this team has brought to us so far, like emotionally and everything else. They should have nothing to be, nothing to be sorry for. They held their heads high. They played great. They should be so proud of themselves. Go Peacocks. And that's right, we'll go Peacocks. Well, now, there aren't any official plans as of yet to celebrate the team's success, but in a recent tweet from the Jersey City Mayor, he says that a parade will happen this week. Now, as far as today is concerned, uh, many Jersey City schools are encouraging their students to wear blue in order to honor the team's incredible uh, streak they've had so far. We're live this morning here in Jersey City, Elijah Westbrook, CBS2 News. Certainly will be a great homecoming for them. Thank you, Elijah. And to relive St. Peter's remarkable run during March Madness. You can check out our website. We have a look back at the Cinderella story, plus fan photos and more. It's all at CBSNewYork.com. Hopefully these guys will have a chance to sit back and be like, wow, I cannot believe mm -hmm. what we did. Congratulations to them.